Hey guys, what's up? It's Ray. I'm the director and creator of RJ Wine Productions. Um, so a lot of you guys have been asking for tutorials and stuff, and I, I know what you guys are talking about. I know you guys have been pretty anxious to see that. At least a few of you have. Um, so the first tutorial we're going to do today, this might, I might make this into a series of tutorials if this becomes, you know, super popular or something. But for now, we're just going to start with the tutorial I think everyone wants. Um, and that's how to do a muzzle flash. So let's dive right into it. Um, right here we have all my videos I've made in the past. Some never made it onto YouTube, obviously. But uh, we're going to try to select the most basic video we can find here. And uh, make a muzzle flash out of it. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, let's use this sniper video. By the way, I'm using the... Uh, software called Pinnacle Studio 16. I'll put it in the link below. So I open this clip. I drag it down here and it. I wait for it to load. Um, and that is my buddy Wes. He's uh, holding the sniper, ready to take a shot. Um, so what do I do now? Where do you go? Well, you go to your effects. And I'll also post a ton of links on where to get those effects so uh, you can have those at the ready. Um, I think the site I use is called Footage Crate. That's a great site to use. It is epic. You can get some quality effects on that site. Uh, so I'm just going to open up... How about this muzzle flash? I think that's the one we actually used before. And I'm going to put it on top of the video when Wes is ready to take the shot. And when I see his recoil. So right about there. And I'm also going to crop the video so he actually gets set up. And I'm trying to make sure that all you guys actually know what I'm talking about here. And let's just load that in. Okay, so that's where he takes the shot. I'm going to zoom back out. And now we're going to do a right click on the mouse on the muzzle flash. And click Open Effects Editor. Also, if you're interested in buying this program, um, I'll send out a link to see how expensive it is. And actually, they just came out with Pinnacle Studio 17 Ultimate, so that's even better. I hear it's up to way faster recording than this, so that's pretty cool. So you might be confused because there's just a black screen, and it's a muzzle flash. Um, you can experiment right here with like the timing and stuff. But what we're going to do first is we're going to see this solo button down here. And we're going to click Show Media and Tracks Below so the film shows up. Here's where the interesting part comes in. You're going to click on Keyers and press Luma Keyer. Now, if you ask me, that doesn't look like a muscle flask. That looks like a piece of crap. So we're going to fix that. Um, so this is called Luma Center. And you want to get this to a point where you can't, there's no... There's no hole in the middle of the muzzle flash, so that looks about good to me. Um, you're also going to make the radius um, a little bigger, not too much. The main part to making this look realistic is softness, which will soften the edges and give it a nice, realistic look. Now, if it's pretty much already in position, which is kind of funny, but if you ever wanted to position the muzzle flash, you'd click on this 2D, 3D tab and click 3D Editor GPU. And also, if you're using a different program, I'll put down some links below as to where you can find muzzle flash tutorials for that program as well. So, let's just move the muzzle flash onto his muzzle, which kind of was already there, but still. Um, we could play around with it here. You could make the muzzle flash super huge or super small or not even visible at all. So that's pretty sick. Um, and if you click on that, you can change it. So I'm going to put that at 80 that looks good to me, doesn't it? Um, and you can play around with the rotation thing. You obviously don't want that because that would look terrible. So with that, this is kind of interesting. You can kind of make it go circular and stuff, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, you have your transparency, which pretty much makes the muzzle flash transparent. Shadow cropping, but I just showed you the main things that you need to make a muzzle flash. And... Guys, that's almost it. The one other thing you need, which I'll also put a link 
Gosh, there's a lot of links in this video. I'll also put a link to the sound effects I guys I give you guys. Um and so there's a lot of different sound effects we have here and we need to select a good one. Um I'll show you guys where I get these gun sounds pack and stuff from. It's really cool. Um so let's find some kind of thing that looks like a sniper. I think a uh not a K1A. Hmm. Let's find the dragon off. I bet that's in here. Oh, right there. Sorry, I didn't get that, guys. So, if we press play, that sounds pretty darn good to me. So, let's drag this in. And we're going to want to put the sound lining up with where the muzzle flash begins. And finally, let's just play that. Now, you're going to notice that muzzle flash was a little small, and everyone kind of makes mistakes like that anyways. Um, I think I'll play around with the softness with this a little. Make it a little more soft. That looks better. And I say we also make it a bit bigger, so let's go 120. You could just play around with this, get to be familiar with it. I love this program, it's great. Um, so, now let's look at it. That looks pretty awesome. And we got the smoke in there too. And I'll also show you guys something pretty cool. Music. And, uh, oh, and I also use these sound effects, which I'll also put a link to. Um, for bullet impacts and punches. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's get some music in here and just make it all super epic and stuff. So what I have is my own custom songs that I make on this um, music maker called Magic's Music Maker, and my version is MX, but I think now they're just doing it year by year, you know? Um, so let's just find a good one. I've made a lot of songs over the past years. I think this one sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty nice. This song is going to be huge. So before it starts loading and all that crud, you're just going to want to immediately crop it to the sound you want and uh, put it in there and there we have it 